Hey everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to share workout libraries and schedules out on the web privately. Um, so uh, the, the, the reason for this functionality is to allow, let's say, yourself or a coach uh, just share specific workouts with someone else. And you do that by providing a username and password and then they would just go back and use that same username and password to uh, import them into, your, into their uh, studio library. And so uh, let's just say you have a, uh, um, an athlete by the name of, of Bob Smith. And so you could create a workout library called Bob Smith and actually add those, library, uh, those workouts to it and then share it with him. And then those are just his specific workouts. Um, so let's just try to do that. Uh, you do that by opening up the workout library and going into the workouts tab. And then from there, what we want to do first is just let's create an actual library from scratch. So we'll create a new library by hitting this button here. And we'll just say uh, um, Bob Smith's workouts. And nothing there. And, and we can just say uh, um, training phase three or something. Something in that order. So we have our our Bob Smith's workouts now. We don't have any workouts in it. Um, now what you can do is you can start creating your workouts by if you're in here and you hit the new workout and you say, okay, I want to create a, an MRC or you know a, an FTP type of workout, you can do that from here and start building it up. And you'll see that it defaults right here to Bob Smith's workout. And when you save it, it'll actually get put into that, that library. Um, but for the sake of speed, what we can try to do here is just, let's just uh, break down our, our, uh, our workouts here by, let's say, fair stress. And I already had them kind of selected, but let's say some challenging workouts. And um, lots of suffer fest. <laughs> Big surprise. Okay, so here we can say, oh, I want to add uh, a couple of these guys here. And we'll just use them. And... Um, what we'll do is right click on those and assign the lib and I'll say, okay, I want to put those in Bob Smith's workout library. So here's our, here's our workout library that I want to share with Bob. And so what I can do now is there's this button right here to share the workout, or you can always right click and come down here and share it that way, right? The, the very first thing. So I want to share this on the web. So we got Bob Smith's workout, and here's maybe it's the, the coach's um, name, so he knows. But here's where we want to make, here's where the difference here. We want to make this particular workout library private on the web. So only the person with the username and password can see it. So what I can say is uh, Bob Smith, and we'll just say test for a password, and then I'll share that. So... Bob Smith and test for password, that's what you're going to end up emailing to Bob. And that way he can use that. So make sure you're not using some kind of secure password that you would normally use, let's say, for logging into your bank account or something like that. This isn't something private for you to, uh, to only keep for you. This is something that you're actually going to have to share out. So um, this is just something to keep others out, but nothing extremely secure. So uh, let's go ahead and share that. You see it goes through it, and it actually adds it out pretty quick. Okay, so now what Bob's, what you're going to do then is email Bob that username and password, and he's going to get that email and come into Perf Pro Studio on his end, go into the workout library, and now he's going to import. So you've got the import button here, or you've got the import button up here with other options, and I want to import libraries from the web. So the first thing that always defaults to are these public libraries. So what I want to do is go to the private libraries. Now, in this case, Bob Smith was already entered in for us and all that because I'm on the same machine, but um, Bob would be entering it in here. So if we actually just had it blank for starters, came back and said Bob Smith and used a test for password, we'll say, oh, yeah, okay, there's the workouts. And you can see last updated and how many workouts are in there. Um, if the coach, uh, if you as the coach decide to add more workouts or change some things, that kind of thing, uh, changing especially, um, they can he can come back in there and and then re-import them again and get the get a refreshed uh, workout library. Now, if you actually made slight tweaks to your workouts, what you'll want to do is come down and replace the actual existing workouts. 
because without this, it's just going to add the new ones. It'll it'll ignore the existing ones. In case you you know you on your end decide to do some tweaking, you wouldn't want a, an imported library to overwrite what you've done. So the, using this replace existing workouts option uh, ensures that whatever you got from your coach is going to get imported in, and and uh, um, that way you, you you both see the same thing and expecting the same um, results within Perf Pro Analyzer when you're looking at it. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is re, uh, import this. You can see I did do the replace, and then it did actually replace those, which isn't a big deal here, but because they're the exact same workouts, and you can see what I've gotten imported in here. So I'll close that, and then I'll close that, and then I'll come in, and then Bob Smith's refresh, and then you've got your own workouts. And say, okay, yeah, it's time to, it's time to do my builder. All right. So that's how you would do a, um, the workout library. The scheduler is the same way. So if you want to actually build up those same workouts within a schedule, you can then build them all up, add the workouts, and you would then come into your, um, into your menu here, and you want to share the schedule out on the web. And it's the exact same thing. You want to share it as private. Bob Smith and, te and Test are going to be defaulted like before. And so, um, the, the whole process is the same. When they, after you share it out there, they can come back here and import, go into private schedules, and say, okay, yeah, there's no schedules for this because I didn't actually import it. But that's the, that's the premise behind sharing schedules as well. And with the same thing, you would want to create a schedule by the name of, let's say, the person that you want to share it with, or if you're sharing it with a group, you know, give it some kind of meaningful name. All right. So that's how you would share workouts privately. Um, as always, if you have any questions on how to do any more of this, please let me know. Um, I'm always available through email and, and also occasionally through Skype if you want to schedule a meeting. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.